My name is Rob Rowley, Director of Training and Education for Merit Medical. Welcome to a virtual in-service for Prelude Sync Distal Radial Compression Device. The Prelude Sync Distal Radial Compression Device is used to gain and maintain hemostasis of the distal radial artery. It has a soft wristband and thumb saddle strap with secure hook and loop fasteners. The band delivers adjustable compression of the puncture site with an inflatable balloon and a check valve for easy inflation and deflation with a syringe. A clear curved backer plate provides optimal visualization of the puncture site and ease of placement. For a large patient wrist or hand, you may add the extension band prior to placing the prelude sink distal. Aspirate the sheath and withdraw the sheath back approximately two to three centimeters. Place the center of the crosshairs approximately one to two millimeters proximal to the skin puncture site. Place the band on the hand and wrist with band one on the little finger side, band two on the thumb side, and band three facing up toward the thumb. Fasten band one and two tightly around the wrist, then place band three around the saddle of the thumb without any slack. If the sheath is in the way of securing band number three, then band number three may be secured after removal of sheath. Fill the included syringe with 10 mils of air. Maximum balloon fill volume is 10 mils. Engage the syringe into the valve on the top of the device. Slowly inflate the balloon with air while simultaneously removing the sheath. Once the sheath is completely removed, continue to inject air until bleeding has stopped. While inflating, maintain pressure on the syringe plunger to avoid any inadvertent release of air. Slowly withdraw air from the balloon until there is a flash or a pulse is observed from the access site. Once oozing is observed, re-inject air into the balloon until hemostasis is achieved. If bleeding is observed at any time, inject additional air until bleeding stops and hemostasis is achieved. It is important not to exceed the max fill volume of 10 mils. Remove the syringe. The patient should be able to move their hand or wrist freely without any bleeding. Per hospital protocol, a small amount of air, such as one to two mils, can be removed every 15 minutes until hemostasis is achieved. Ensure a negative is not pulled on the balloon. Complete hemostasis time may differ according to patient's condition, anticoagulant dosage, and size of puncture site. If bleeding is present, inject air until bleeding stops and patent hemostasis is achieved. Wait a sufficient amount of time and repeat the device deflation and removal instructions. Once the air is removed and hemostasis is confirmed, carefully remove the prelude distal sink and place a sterile dressing over the site per hospital protocol. For any additional questions, please contact Merit's clinical support team or your local Merit representative. We wanted to take a minute and show you some things that we've learned. So I'm going to show you the way that we want them to place it, first of all. So you all know band one goes to the pinky side. So as we place it on top of our arteriotomy, we want to be sure that the physician braces the backer plate on each side as they pull and tighten the second band. And what we want to prevent is any kind of gapping here on each side of the backer plate, which you see that I just did. Now I'm gonna show you what we've seen a few times. They'll put it on and they'll hold here and pull this around and they'll pull it tight. But as they pull it tight, they don't support right here. And what happens is you get this gap where you can put a finger in there and then you get a lot of movement and it'll happen kind of on both sides of the backer plate. So once again, as we're teaching these, we wanna make sure that they support the backer plate as they pull around and support this area where they get a gap, pull tight, and close the Velcro so they don't have gaps right there, okay?